the Kingdom Hearts 3 Randomizer. Created by myself, Water Cage, and Critic Perfect. I'm here to announce that the KH3 Rando is now officially live. What is a Kingdom Hearts 3 Randomizer, you ask? Essentially, it jumbles up everything in the game to give a new and unique experience each time you play it. Things like treasure chest items, bonuses for clearing a section of the game, bosses, enemies, abilities, and so much more. The end goal essentially is to find the three proofs or a custom clear condition. The two proofs are already included in the game, and a special one created by Kimchu called the Proof of Fantasy. With this mod we wanted to include everyone, not just cater to a specific group, so this randomizer can be played on any mode, beginner, standard, proud, or critical, with easy codes or pro codes on. Sora starts in a quick version of the Station of Awakening, and then gets sent to the Data Garden of Assemblage. Both of these places created by the wonderfully talented Critic Perfect. We also have a custom Keyblade, Pandora's Power, conceptualized by Tatsumaki, and put into the game by Dalin1016. This Keyblade has a random color with each seed as well. I can't go over every feature at the website, but several things are quality of life options like skipping certain events, custom clear conditions that can be the three proofs, Kyrie's seven heart pieces, or anything you want. And finally, a hint system built into the secret reports of the game, which wasn't proved to have better hint text, and an extra grouping category by a couple members of the Discord. So how do you play this? Well, there's two things you need. One, a seed, and two, the GOA plus rando pack. To generate a seed, you can use my online web app with a design coming from Kimchi. This allows you to customize pretty much everything you want quickly and easily, or if you want to create a planomizer, you can do this granularly by clicking the switch. Explore the website and find out all the different kinds of options you can play with and experience in Kingdom Hearts 3. After you have made it all the way through the process and generated a seed, you will need to download the Unreal Pack tool, link in the description. Now, a lot of people seem to have an issue with this, so hopefully showing this visually will help everyone out. But basically, you're going to drag the folder that you unzipped onto the compressed bat file, not the Kingdom Hearts 3 folder. Once you've done this, now you can just drop it into this folder on the screen. If you do not have a mod folder, you can create one. Finally, you'll need to download the GOA plus rando pack, which again, link in the description, and just drop that in with the other pack. You also may have noticed the spoilerlog.json file that came with your seed. You can go to the spoilerlog section on the website or client and use this file, and it will give you a visualizer for all the randomized options in the game. Finally, I just want to give a huge shout out to all the friends and bug testers that have supported me and made the end of this project, for my part at least, a reality. They did not show any kind of entitlement to this project or try to steal or insert themselves into the project. They always had upbeat and positive vibes, knowing full well that this mod was not going to be flawless or bug free at the very beginning. Still not perfect, but I've gotten to a point that I'm content with it, and if people want to add more to it, then by all means, I encourage you guys to add to the open source project. None of this would exist without Preferred Whale 6's constant support. She kept me going during the most difficult time in creating this free mod with well over 1200 hours put into it just from my side alone, so I cannot thank her enough for giving me the strength to complete this. Bioroxis was also a huge reason this reached the finish line, giving me support, promoting me early on in the development cycle, and just the constant behind the scenes support when I needed to chat through problems or bugs. Bio's analytical approach to Kingdom Hearts games, as well as his ability to just break everything with randomizers, made him more than a worthy candidate to test this rando with. Mike and Jason from the Super Spaghetti Bros by far were the best beta testers I've ever worked with on any of my projects. They always had positive attitudes working on and off stream, helping me identify issues and find bugs. Both of these guys have a vast history of challenge runs and speedrunning Kingdom Hearts games that helped a lot when testing the KH3 rando. Tatsumaki is also a veteran running competitive KH2FM randomizers as well as speedrunning KH3 and KH2, so he brought valuable experience and feedback and brought a very chaotic infectious energy with him. Another veteran of running competitive KH2FM randomizer races is Shibuya Gato, who also brought their strats specifically around running randomizers, allowing them to give us valuable feedback we can improve the KH3 rando experience with. Regular Pat's experience is what I expect most peoples to be, just a new way to experience KH3. He helped move our development towards a variety of different opinions and viewpoints on how to play the randomizer, not just for competitions or speedrunners. A different experience-based analytical approach, Damo was able to identify bugs that not many people would think or try to do, leading to the discovery of a major bug. Uh, he also gave us, much like Pat, a different experience in approaching the KH3 randomizer. Honestly, I can't imagine pairing with any other KH3 modder. Critic Perfect was smart, resourceful, and 
always a joy to work with from start to finish. Even though we received a lot of hate and harassment from several members of the community, we made it through together with each other's persistence and drive, so thank you, Critic. Finally, if you would like to get involved with this mod, there are a couple different avenues. Firstly, we have a GitHub page where you can contribute. We have updated our contributing guidelines because we had issues of members using our project and promoting it as their own. So if you would like to help or give back to this mod, you can find instructions on the GitHub page. There is also an unofficial Discord that is centered more around the speedrun challenge aspect of the randomizer. This is a community-created Discord server, and they also created a community-driven Twitch page to stream from. For more information, you can join their Discord, which both of these links can be found below. I also just want to say thank you to the entire community that tried out the mod or watched streamers or participated elsewhere like giving bug reports or feedback in the Discord. We wouldn't have been able to find, fix, and release all of this without your help. And finally, a massive thank you to Square Enix, which without them, Kingdom Hearts wouldn't exist.